Hey guys, just a disclaimer, I'm not crying. I'm literally dying from my allergies. I'm not crying yet, but um, so the big news on YouTube this week is Joey Graceffa coming out of the closet and um, honestly, I'm just I'm proud of him. I've been watching him for, following him for about four years now and seeing his success grow and um, you know, when I really started getting into watching YouTubers, he was one of the first ones. And a lot of my friends always make fun of me, like, you know, the ones in the craft. Um, they're like, oh, you're not watching a hairstylist, but you're watching Joey. And I'm like, yeah, I'm watching Joey, duh. Um, but so I'm proud of him. You know, it's it's his, he's finally out and it's awesome. And, you know, he got to do it his own way, his own time. And there you go, you know, so kudos to you, Joey. Um, but I wanted to come on here and share my experience. Um, so I was bullied in high school by the jockey boys. Um, the sad part is I was around their girlfriends all the time. I was a cheerleader and I was around those girls all the time. And, you know, they had my back every, every, everywhere we went. And they always were they they got they had my back they really did and they supported me um but i didn't officially come out of the closet until my senior year of high school the summer before my senior year um so we do this thing called candle passing in cheer and um so what it is is the seniors um at the beginning of our cheer season the seniors get everybody together at at someone's house and we do a huge barbecue and at night we have the juniors and uh, freshmen, sophomore, juniors go out to the field and they sit in their um, uh, age group and we come out and all the seniors do a skit and make fun of the coach. We, they make fun of um, everybody on the team and it's just so much fun and we just act as everyone else and it's just it's so much fun and I remember growing up uh, being a freshman, sophomore, junior it was so much fun to go to candle passing and what they would do is they would pass a candle down to a junior next year that they think is going to do really well and this and that and so um, after they uh, first they have a new candle and so they pass it to the freshman and the freshman and everybody just expresses their feelings and the freshman it usually goes really fast until you get the juniors it's a little slower and then the seniors talk forever um, so the freshmen are usually like oh I'm so glad I made the team and then the sophomores are like I'm so glad I made JV or I'm so glad I made the team again and then you get the juniors like oh my god I'm gonna miss you guys seniors and blah 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 and then the seniors are like bawling their eyes out and I was the last one to talk and I will never forget this moment because it was my moment it was the time when I did come out of the closet and so it was my turn and I was talking about you know how much they meant to me how much this team meant to me how much I love cheer and how much it kind of you know, cheer taught me to kind of put a smile on it because um, in cheer, you have to be, you know, spirited, happy people. And I couldn't go to cheer pissed off because then it was showing my face. And, you know, that's how I would do it on the routine, like in the routine, because uh, we would practice the routine. I would have to practice my facials too. And I couldn't be sad. So it kind of helped me kind of mask that feeling that I had or the you know the guys who bullied me I'd go there and I realized I'm not getting bullied I'm happy all the time and you know cheer was my family and I told them that and at the end I'd go well you know what I want to tell you guys something because you guys are family to me and I just went I'm gay and everybody started screaming, everybody started crying, everybody started coming up and giving me hugs because they all knew but they were waiting for me to express it myself and I was so fortunate for that and, and I'm so happy and um, I'm, I'm happy that I had so much support um, through all the times that I was bullied, through all the, the times that, you know, someone would say this, this and this and I'd just be like, you know what, your girlfriend is one of my best friends and, um, you know, good luck with that because she has my back every time. You know, and I, all my friends were like, you know, I started yelling at my boyfriend, like, I can't believe he said that to you. And I wouldn't even tattle on them. It's just like, it would get around. And, you know, for me, I tend to hold things in. Um, I was very lucky that I do have very thick skin. So stuff like that just kind of brushes off. But for me, it's just, cheer was my getaway. And I feel like everybody needs that. Everybody needs that moment to kind of, or that something that helps kind of get their mind off of 
being bullied because there's not too much you can do about it other than stand up for yourself or remember that these boys are stupid. You know, these these kids are stupid, the ones that are bullying you, they're just stupid. Guess what? You work on you, you work on your career, you work on your life, and now you look back at those boys and guess what? Pfft, whatever, right? Shake, shake it off. Because guess what? It's your life. And I was so fortunate that I had something, a media to go to, um, and I was so grateful for that. So um, coming out to my parents, that was... I was kind of waiting till they were in the grave to tell them, but um, my mom actually asked me and she said that she was completely fine with it and she knew. And I think my brother kind of snitched on me anyways, but she knew and parents usually do. They know. And my parents knew and my mom asked me and you know what I said? I said, I am. And she said, Okay, well, you're my son. I will love you no matter what. And I just remember sitting in the car. My mom was driving and I was bawling my eyes out. You know, I just, I didn't know what to say. I c couldn't believe that she was so nice about it. And so, my, you know, I grew up Catholic, you know, and, you know, they say this and this and that and that. And for my mom to be so accepting of me, you know, she knows that I have a good head on me and... I'm a very independent person and she knows that I will go far in my career, my business. And she supported me. She supported me because why? She's my mom and she loves me and I love her. Um, so yeah, so I hope that helps you guys. Um, I just thought I'd share that, but um, maybe it might help someone out there who is going through rough times. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye.